Today we're going to go ahead and jump in to show you how to build a Linktree page like this that you can run right off your popcorn site. What we want to do today is just build a Linktree page on popcorn and utilize the new template that's there to just allow you to build it within the page itself. So here's just some examples. This start blogging block sells cadence blocks. You can do the same thing and just do it for free. What we're gonna do real quick is just show you how you can build this within your page using the new templates that exist. So let's jump over to Popcorn. So we're installed Popcorn by default and what we're gonna to wanna to do is go to Pages. We can go ahead and make a new page. We're just gonna call this Linktree for now. And then what you wanna do is go over to this template and we're gonna to wanna to change this. So what we're doing here is just getting ourselves onto the blank landing page to ensure that we have no header or footer itself and then we can save so now when you look at the front end you have a blank template there's no header and there's no footer which is exactly what we need out of this page because you would share this specifically so now inside here what we're going to do is we're going to add a group and we want this to just go down because if you look at their layout look everything is just stacked it's just a stack down so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pick this and then we'll open this so you can see this happen now what we want to do is group on top of this because we want this group to kind of limit our width because we want to be you know no bigger than 600 pixels so now that we've got that we can actually start this work which as you can see there starts with an image so what we want to do is go get this image and we'll just find a random we'll find that image we're gonna go ahead and upload that image and then we're gonna go ahead and center it and then what we want to do is take this move it down to a thumbnail and then we can go ahead and go over here to controls go down to the radius make this like 90 and now we've got the round so now we've got this part done for the next part is pretty simple because all we have to do is go inside here and then add after and from here we can just put a text and what we can do there is add after again now we just say social social icons and we'll want them to open in a new tab but now we would put in what we want to. So if we use theirs for an example, Facebook, YouTube. So we can do Facebook. YouTube. Twitter, and then they've got TikTok. So these ones will exist as long as they have an address. So we need to have an address in each of these. The address will make these all be there. What we can do now is save this. And then if you go to the front end, now you see this is starting to come together. Since we're inside a group, we can go ahead and add a little bit of padding to the top just to give ourselves some of that separation so pull it down a little bit and give us a, a little bit of a gap and then each one of these is a link to wherever we want to go so now we can go ahead and add a button a pretty straightforward button with a little bit of a hover effect for us this is easy we can just do button and what we're going to want to do is make this one so select this buttons top and then we're going to justify it center and then what we can do is just say for now there we go right we can put button one right but we want this button to be rounded off so in this case we could be like this we can put in our special stuff or we can come down here and we can just make it exactly how theirs is which is just this button and what we do then is we just add the padding around the side and then when we go in here 
we get that little button. And then you just replicate it. So what you can do here is when you know you're in the button, you can give yourself that little bit of extra padding. And then once you have this little bit of extra padding, now if you go in here and you go to duplicate, now you can go take a look on the front end. You might want a little bit more space though. So for me, probably go like four because I just want a little bit of more gap between them and there you go now you have a fully functional page for yourself so instead now when you publish now you can go to that page and then you can actually share your url.com slash linktree and then that would take you to this page so that you could share off your you know top six items you wanted people to click and buy for affiliate offers or your best posts or whatever would make sense for getting somebody over to wherever this has been short and sweet hope it makes sense in building this, the thing that people get confused the most about is they try to edit this. You don't edit this. You want to avoid editing this. You're going to edit in the page. That way you get this, and then you can reuse that on the next page.